coaching tools with ready list sports brought to you by the girls football association because it is her turn to ball hello everybody this is coach lee i am going to talk about readylistsports.com probably one of the best tools that i've used uh for girls in flag football because of football iq uh this is a great opportunity for the girls to learn football iq at a moment's notice uh, again, 24-hour access, easy accessibility for the coaches, but also for the players. And what I love about it is I get to input all my team members here. So again, we just log them all in. As you can see, we got plenty of young ladies that, that are participating. It's easy click here, click there. Um, again, I'm able to make up my own plays. Again, I can make these plays from scratch. And again, it has tools that we can utilize to change the different uh, routes and things of that nature. So let's say if I wanted to edit this play and I wanted to edit Z to run a different route, there's pre-established routes already in here. You can also draw up your own routes. As you can see, bullet, angles, bubbles, corners. I mean, again, it's already pre preset, but as well as I'm able to do custom and call these particular routes, whatever I want to call them, okay? So again, this is a great learning program we get to go through, but what I love about it the most, what I love about it the most is that I have access to be able to, to change it. Again, it's easy accessibility here, but what I love the most about this is that I get to use these two things right here, test and scores, okay? Outside of my plays, I can create questions, I can create my playbook, but this is how I know that the girls are picking up um, what's going on. So I'm able to test by run protection, pass protection, I can do formation recognition, I can do plays, I can do multiple choice. So here's an example of, let's go to formations. So I'm gonna go to a practice base formation test real quick, and again, I'm gonna preview the test. And so what I'm able to do is they have the players here. So we look up here, here's the play, pro right strong six, seven, four. So all we're doing is recognizing, okay? In our offense, it's pro left. So X goes opposite of the call. Uh, F back will be here to the strong side. We don't, in flag football, we don't put her in the backfield. We want our line scrimmage as soon as possible. Our tail back or our K back is lined up here. And then you have your Y, and your Z. And what I love about this is I can hit this submit, boom. I lined everybody up wrong because it was pro left. So I can actually switch the play, show the play, and that's how they should have lined up, okay? And it can continue. Again, here we go, let's go empty left USC. So empty left. So I do it correctly this time. So empty left, we have our Y out here. We have X on this side, we have Z. We have F and we have K. So this is our formation for, for USC, empty left USC. When I click this, I got it correct. Now here, I, I, I probably should have brought here this one in a little bit tighter. Watch when I show the play. Again, it had it out wider. But again, it is detailed. If I can, I can take it off of detail or just novice, but I got this one on detail. So why should have been outside of the numbers, okay? So again, we can go through this. Here we go, ace right, 55. So let's go ace right. So X always go opposite of the call. Let's go K is in the slot. We got F in the backfield. We got Y and we got Z. Now on this one, we should have it all correct. Let's see. And there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna continue through. And that was our practice formation test. I'm gonna exit on out. Again, if I want to go to plays, it is, it's similar to that. Uh, we can do graded or practice. Practice, they can utilize as much as they want, and then I can grade them every week. As you can see, I graded them last Wednesday on the 18th, and we're gonna be graded today uh, as I make up a new test. But let's go to ace pass plays, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and preview the test. Again, they're already in their formation, so I'll read here, ace left 55s. So what it does is I, I go here, it gives me a different group of, of routes and I'm gonna select the correct ones. So this one is easy. It's a mirror route on, on both sides, 55s. 
and I hit submit, it shall turn green. Oh, my bad, I forgot to. F swings to the strong side, and then we should have it all correct. So as you can see, it's self-correct. It lets me know that there's still some other players that have to do some, some routes. Okay, let me go to the next one. Again, here's ace, right, 55 and go. They're already in information. So now it's up to me to, to utilize. Let, let me uh, do this one wrong on purpose. Um, and as you can see, if I do the right color scheme, they will turn green. If I made a mistake, it'll turn up. I keep forgetting the F back. F back swings to the right because it's ace right. So here we go. So it shows me that every route is correct except this one. I chose this route, the red route, and it should have been the green route. And another aspect I love, you know, we, we talk about football IQ. I can go to multiple choice questions as well. Um, I have two graded tests, as you can see. I can do one on routes, I can do one on baseline. Let's just do the baseline practice one real quick. Um, it's just 10 questions. Again, I can change these questions anytime I like. And we can just go through and we answer, which is not a way to determine a certain food is healthy. You know, taste it and say that it's not healthy should be the answer, as you can see. Again, we have several different possibilities. It can be one or two, like here's a true or false question that we can utilize. Eating proper foods and drinking the proper fluids will help you on and off the field. True. So we're just going to go through real quick. Which of, which of these should you avoid drinking on game days? Of course, soda. All right. So, again, getting your football IQ is great. Again, if it's wrong, okay, it was too, that was the wrong answer. I just grabbed anything. I'm just trying to get through. Um, that should have been all of the above. Again, I'm just clicking so the purpose of the of this uh, presentation. But Ready List Sports is an awesome unit. Uh, went through GFA, the Girls Football Association program, uh, to get this program. Again, you should utilize it at your school. It's an easy way to track the girls learning and also them learning the game outside of the game. So again, I'm just clicking answers. I'm not even reading. And then it gives me the, the, the answers. So let's go to that. Okay, so the second aspect I like about this is I can close out so you can see different tests, but also I can track the scores. As you can see in my practice exams, uh, we, we averaging about 77% answers correct. On the plays section, we got 89% of the plays correct. We got 66 of the formations, and that's the most important part, alignment and assignment. So I can track all this stuff, multiple choice. My girls are doing a pretty good job uh, at 84%. But I can go in and let's go, let's go practice test. Okay, now I can go in and look at the different tests that I have available. So let's talk about routes. My girls are, there's 329 attempts and we got 257 correct. Okay, so again, as we go through practice, again, empty formations, there's a, a 1200 attempts baseline practice test again here we go basic formations 43 4300 uh, attempts and we had 2754 correct so I love this stuff and I can break it down to to the point where I can also go to the test scores and see them individually um, again Nora Cook again this is where it breaks it down so when basic formations she's taking the test uh, she had 40 attempts her score is 93. She spent two minutes and 50 seconds taking the test that she's been practicing. So in this particular formation, this place, she knows where they align the X, the Y, the Z, the F, and the K, so she got 100%. In this situation, she missed out on where the Y lines up. So as you can see, it, 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 it corrects you and you, you know exactly what's going on. So 88% of the chance she knows where, where X lines up. Uh, where Y, where Z, she's 100% F, and she actually plays the F position. So of course she knows where she lines up at in the other running back. So again, I can find out where the girls need to work on if they know what their base formations are and where the people line up at, okay? So that's a great thing there. I can actually go back um, again to another test. Um, let me see, ace formation. Let me see if I can get Nora Cook again. Nora Cook again. She got 30 out of 30. So again, she's doing a great job um, learning the ace formation plays and where everybody goes. 
So as you can see, this is a great analysis of what goes on. Again, I can go through every individual player uh, that's on the team that graded out, and we graded out pretty high in this particular uh, section of the test. Okay, if I go back to here, again, Rayless Sports is a great tool for all girls uh, for flag football. It's, it's a must. Uh, I, I definitely think it's the greatest system to teach football. I don't care what level of football, uh, high school, youth football, middle school football, college football, and pro football also use this, this program. So again, instead of all the paperwork and putting out playbooks, I'm able to do all my plays here. Um, again, I can design them, put them in here. I'm just going through here pretty fast on what we got going on. For more information, please reach out to Girls Football Association at gmail.com or you can give us a call at area code 702-874-8058. This is the program for your organization. This is the program to get you on board to be a championship caliber team. Thank you very much.